how should you invest in yourself when it comes to coding and you developing your coding skills? That is a question I also get very often and I'm gonna answer that for you. So without any further ado, let's jump right into it. I'm going to also give you examples of what I've done and what I've invested in and actually specifically how I invest in myself now. And I want you to take away some really important concepts here and they apply to your whole life, your coding career, your software development career, your um, whether it's freelancing or whether you want to be an entrepreneur and run your own business, whatever it may be. You are the biggest asset, okay? You are the asset. Creator, not the creation. What does that mean? If somebody works and builds a business, it's not the business that's the most important asset. It's you, you are the magician. You created the business out of thin air. When it comes to your career and your software development and your apps or whatever it may be, right? You are the creator, you are the magician, you create something out of thin air because of who you are and what you've learned. What does that mean? Does that mean that the most investment that you should make is like on the business itself or on your, uh, on, on some um, external equipment? What should you, where should you make your investments? Should it be like getting the best computers, uh, the best technology uh, when it comes to coding? When it comes to the business, should it be getting like the best type of office space? Where should you invest? The best investment you can make is actually by investing in yourself. All right, what do I mean by that? Instead of getting all this equipment and all this other stuff, right, and paying for that, if you have extra money, great, go ahead and do that. But you should actually invest in yourself when it comes to learning, okay? So go take an online course, learn from that, okay? There are plenty of free resources, so use them but if there's a course like you're on Udacity and you're on Udemy and you're like, man, this course is really good, can help me. If it's like five or 10 bucks, go and take the damn course so you can learn, okay? Another thing that happens when you make the investment, for me at least what happens is I feel like it's a little bit more serious and I gotta finish it. Otherwise I would have wasted my money, so to speak. So I'm like, okay, that kind of holds me committed to it. If you're going to college or high school or whatever, if you're learning from an academic um, course, that's just one resource for you to use and learn from, okay? So invest in those. Some other forms of investment that are really important for you is invest in a coach who can help you learn more coding. Let's say that there's a software developer who will work with you for $35 an hour or $50 an hour. While that seems like a lot and you're like, hey, for 50 bucks, I can get like three books. Yes, but here's, now, here's something you're not thinking about. When you're working with these people, you're thinking about just using them as a tutor for that one hour. The real, the most value you can get out of it actually is when you're working with somebody for an hour, don't just work on that with them for like one coding project or one problem, but rather ask them about the career. Ask them about what path should you follow. Ask them about what projects and what specific things you should work on for the next few weeks, okay? So if you're working with one person for a month and you're doing four hours with them and let's say that costs you 200 extra bucks a month, that's gonna be one of the best investments you can make in yourself when it comes to learning coding skills because you have a real software developer who's gonna tell you what are the right things to do as you advance in your career or if you're a beginner or a student, they'll give you the path. So let's say that you meet them every Monday, okay? And let's say the first Monday that you meet them, they assign you at the end of the call, they assign you, hey, these are the projects you should, this is one project you should work on, here's some assignments you should work on, we'll reconvene next Monday, okay? And then you meet with them. And it won't feel like much in the start, but that accountability will be absolute key when it comes to you just massively improving your skills and sticking to coding and not quitting and improving at a consistent pace. Because now it's just not you, it's actually somebody else there as well. So getting mentorship or coaching, that's one powerful way you can actually 
leverage invest investments in yourself and speed up your coding progress. So that's one way you can invest in yourself, right? Just have a mentor or get coding courses and just speed up your progress that way. I'm gonna tell you exactly kind of how much I was investing in myself as I was learning coding. And I'll also share with you how much I invest in myself now so you can get an idea of what's okay and where I'm at and where my head is at. And maybe it can inspire you or give you ideas to invest in different things in your life, okay? So back when I started coding, what I was doing was a lot of the money that I was making from my other you know, freelancing jobs or whatever it may be, I would use that money to hire a coach and go and have weekly calls with them for one hour, two hours, maybe more hours, and just work with them and develop my skills. And since I couldn't afford somebody that was really expensive, one thing I can suggest to you is um, look online on other platforms. Like there's a platform like onlinejobs.ph and these are Filipino rock stars. That's what their title is on their website. And uh, they'll charge you so little. Like it's almost like these people, you can pay them $100 for full-time work per week and it's totally legal and they'll work with you. And it can really be that cheap. And so imagine you hire somebody from there who can speak English really well and like, you can pay them 10 bucks an hour, 15 bucks an hour and learn. You can get creative with this process, okay? But the main idea is that I would invest in myself by working with these coaches, okay? And I would do that. So I had a coach um, on Code Mentor. I had a coach actually in real life as well because people wanna help people who are really hungry, all right? So when I was going <laughs> to these coding meetups, I was showing everybody I was hungry, I wanted to learn. So I naturally actually had some mentors that gravita gravitated towards helping me in my journey. And they would help me without needing to even um, ask me for money, they would just help me because they were excited because somebody who's so hungry to learn, okay? I just put my ego to the side. So I was investing in getting coaching, I was investing in getting courses. So I bought Udacity's uh, course, I think on like web development, okay, their back end and front end development. I joined their uh, course on um, yeah, yeah, like the computer science course. When it came to Coursera, I joined their path so I could learn from them. You know, I took their IIP course, Introduction to Practical Programming in Python. I forget specifically how it's written out, but that was one of their courses that I took. Uh, their POC, Principles of Computing, and then many, many, many other courses, okay? So that was another way I invested in myself. I would get Code Academy and work through that. And those are just a few examples. And nowadays, when it comes to how I invest in myself, I have mentorship. So recently I joined uh, one of my mentors programs. Uh, her name is Mariah, and she's just running this fantastic business program. And for six months, it was about a $20,000 program. And essentially it's like four calls with two in-person meetups, um, four calls per month that you get and group calls and then two in-person meetups. And I think I shared a vlog on that meetup as well, but I'm trying to focus more on the coding things for this channel. Cause I, I feel like you guys want the coding stuff, right? And less of the business stuff. So I hear you and I'm going to be more specific on that. But that was one thing I invested in. Other things I invest in is like meal prep, okay? Um, for every week I have like specific meals so I don't actually have to think about that. Other things I invest in are online business courses or coding courses or people who can help me just learn coding at a faster rate because now I have a little bit less time. I'm managing this channel, I'm creating content, trying to learn more about business. At the same time, learning actually more about coding. So there's a lot of things happening. Everybody's budget is different, right? So it might not be possible for you to just invest so much in yourself. But start with something because ultimately it's a habit and it's a mindset and it's a pattern, all right? Because if you hold back on always investing in yourself, you're like, oh, it's five bucks, it's too much. You're training yourself to say that you're not worth it. Like at a core level, what you're saying is that you don't trust in yourself. And one thing I can tell you is 
you're gonna be the most important investment and you're the ultimate asset, okay? So if you don't trust in yourself, other things aren't gonna make you trust in yourself more. So please focus on that and start making this a habit, you know? Uh, when you see a book and if you think you can even get one idea from this coding book, just get the damn book, okay? It'll be 20 or 30 bucks, worst case scenario. And it's somebody's like 10 years of experience that they've put down into this one book. And if you get one idea that's helpful for you, I'm, that idea will be worth more than the 20 or 30 bucks that you pay for it, right? So it's a mindset. And what is 20 or 30 bucks? It's like a few meals, right? Or for some of us, we get Doritos and freaking Coca-Cola and Pepsi and just skip out on that and get this. Or if you don't wanna skip out on it, then just figure out a way to increase your income and supplement your income so you can get these things as you go along, all right? I'm a big believer in investing in yourself as much as you can, because that allows you to grow the fastest, okay? <sighs> that was a little bit of my story. That's my message for you. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions on how to invest in yourself or you have a certain budget and you're like, Kazi, I'm just like, I don't know how to do it. Whatever it may be, post it in the comments below. I'll jump in there and try to help you out. Again, I appreciate you so much for being on my channel, watching these videos. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I love your face. This is Kazi and as always, I'll see you in the next video. Lovely. Sweet. Um, yeah, I good. think that was really solid. And uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh,